Hello viewer and welcome to your reading at this time. The oracle decks we will be working with for this reading, we have the White Light Oracle by Alana Fairchild, The Dreams of Gaia Tarot by Raymond Fillan, and The Whispers of the Ocean by Angela Hartfield. So let's get into your reading. Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Mars signs and welcome to your reading at this time. I think I might have said that in the opening. Oh shit, I didn't even include the opening in the last reading. Oh well. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> um, so for your guiding light at this time, we have the card of Obadiah with the white light oracle. More than a thousand different flavors. Do not turn away from your path, nor from what you know in your heart to be true. No matter what appears to be, nor what logic may indicate, trust what your heart is telling you. You are safe and protected by spirit. You are spiritually empowered with all you need to manifest your authentic soul path. You have what it takes to connect with the light and live that connection in practical ways which contribute positive energy to our human collective. Obadiah is the Latin basis for the word obedience, far from conforming to authority. The original meaning was to listen, to hear, and not turn away. The Oracle of Obidire is about becoming a sacred rebel, giving up faith in ways of the world and embracing the ways of the spirit unconditionally. That means refusing to torture yourself with horror stories that society and your own mind conjure up from time to time. This guidance is encouraging you to connect through your heart with the spiritual light, wisdom, and guidance within. The Oracle asks you to believe in the power of the spirit to show you the way through all troubles. There is a message from our loving universe for you. You will feel it in your own heart. You may consider yourself to be a feisty, independent, strong person rather than one who is docile and surrendered in spirit. A vibrant and powerful personality may feel initial resistance or confusion when asked to become soft to the ways of spirit. Yet this sort of obedience is not about giving away your power or becoming someone you are not. When we are receptive to spirit, we become more unique, not less. This oracle asks us to get out of our own way. Often we make things more difficult for ourselves, even when our intentions are good. This is because we see things from a limited or partial perspective. This doesn't mean we should refuse to act at all. It just means that we are practicing a sense of following spirit. By tuning into the heart, we will act from a more centered and wisely guided place. Our actions will be more likely to hit the mark. When we flow with greater wisdom of life, far-reaching, positive consequences awaken. Recognizing that spirit is wiser than your own personal opinion is the prelude to true awakening. The more awakened we are, the more genuine benefit for all beings can unfold through our endeavors. To be clear, the guidance of this oracle is not to hand over your power, nor to seek out spirit to tell you what to do. It is always up to you to exercise your free will and live your life as you choose. Sometimes the responsibility behind such freedom might seem too much, but this is our task as human beings, to own our freedom and exercise it with wisdom and delight. When you trust your courage more than your doubt, you will be ready to listen to spirit and act on what you perceive. You will be capable, willing, and ready to live as if the light was on earth. You, you will be capable, willing, and ready to live as light on this earth. You are also encouraged to ditch the drug of doubt. Doubt undermines your confidence and sends you on a mission to gain approval before making every decision. Approval can become the hit that alleviates doubt temporarily, but it prevents you from building the strength you need to listen for your own spiritual knowing. You have it within you to be spiritually sovereign. This oracle asks you to recognize your inner potential and to practice trusting yourself and your capacity to respond to life's unpredictable happenings with soul-honoring integrity. So there is a meditation with this card I will do at the end of the reading for you all. So from the Ethereal Visions Tarot, the cards that want to come out, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, 
and the Eight of Pentacles. So instantly what I'm getting from this is there's a choice. Should I go or should I stay? The Knight of Pentacles is methodical, slow-moving energy, grounded, makes wise choices and decisions. The Eight of Pentacles is all about putting in the hard work and dedication to your life, to your craft, to your career, to your personal and physical body. Um, but there could be this choice here. You may want to bail on something. It may be like you almost have this energy of one foot in the door, one foot out the door, kind of. So there really is a call to go within yourself here to meditate, to clear and center and balance your energy to see which path is actually most beneficial for you at this time. Now your potential blockage from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. We have the Ace of Earth. This dragon, the seed of inspiration. In the reverse position, the Ace of Earth signifies too much emphasis may have been placed on financial reward or career goals to the detriment of other needs and responsibilities. What price are you willing to pay in order to meet your goals? Are you motivated by genuine need, by fear, or by material desires? These are questions you need to ask yourself now. How important is material gain? How fast do you wish to achieve financial security and for what purpose? The Earth card represents home, family, and career, and a harmonious marriage of the three. While your life may not include all three, be sure that your opportunity to have love and family will not be limited by a path that focuses only on your need for financial security. If you do have family, a spouse, children, or both, are you putting your desire for financial security before the emotional needs and responsibilities of a partner and parent? Will the plans you have made take you away from family and place undue pressures on your relationship with others? If the answer is yes or maybe, the reversed Ace of Earth suggests that it is time to rethink your goals or weigh the potential rewards against the potential consequences. Do not act selfishly at this time or the consequences may be greater than anticipated. This, for someone out there, I this is not going to resonate for all, but I really do have to put this out there. Um, a message that I'm getting is if you're one foot in the door, one foot in and one foot out of the door, and you're like um, considering actually cheating on a spouse, that could be where you really need to assess the damage that's going to cause. That's not going to apply for everyone. I was just hearing that from Spirit. So we have the Six of Wands, which does represent some sort of victory, valor, recognition, and success. By finding your balance with this Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles can be about balancing. I mean, it could be your home and family as well as your career. Finding the equal flow of both, right? Because chances are if you have a family, if you have children and a partner, per most likely you're working hard to provide for them, right? But then you also kind of miss out on the joy and connection of the family that you've created in the first place. So there is kind of a need for balance here. But there's also kind of this balance of needing to to rest and meditate, not to always be driven. That did come out in the first card with this OB Dyer. Which I could see very much as um, Taurus's energy, right? It is an earth, you are an earth element. Taurus would be symbolized by the bull, which could be very strong and um, very practical, very down to earth, taking care of life's details, right? Always focusing on what needs to be done. But there is this balance because your like opposite energy would actually be your, your water element, your emotions. So if you have um, any cancer in your charts, I would suggest maybe checking that reading out for some reason. Um, I'm connecting cancer to your reading, um, but there's a need to honor your inner intuition and spiritual realms as well, right? To nurture and cultivate your inner reality so that you can find balance in your physical existence as well. From the whispers of the ocean, we have a push to surface. You may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. It's interesting when I pulled this um, 
the book out to get it ready for this reading. This card just kind of flew across the table, the Nine of Wands. So this is the Nine of Wands. You could honestly be feeling like burnout, tired, exhausted. And this is where this energy is coming in, right? This push to the surface, this revitalizing in energy and confidence. And that could actually be why you were being guided to um, Cancer's reading. Cancer, their um, oracle and meditation that came out was the Ishtar Lion's Gate, which is connected to Leo, which is all about a confidence and energy boost. You are being gently urged to get back on track. You have become distracted by day-to-day -day activities or are spending too much time daydreaming. It is time to admit that you are not staying on task. Commit to yourself by returning to what you love doing. Get out a calendar and give yourself a deadline. There is new energy being pushed in your direction. This could indicate a new chapter or phase is imminent. The incredible complexity of their mating song suggests that humpbacks are highly intelligent. The rhythm and patterns of their sounds can teach you to hear your inner voice, how to be in touch with your personal truths, and to know the wisdom and the heartbeat of the universe. Whales ask you to embrace the unknown. That is why they are so connected to the emotional depth of the oceans, your thoughts and your emotional choices. The whale can help you understand on a deeper level the actions that have caused unrest in your daily life. Take inventory how you've been feeling and utilizing your time. Have you lost a sense of direction or purpose? An idea or project could be lying dormant in the recesses of your mind. Brainstorm on the ideas that excite you. Consider whether you might need extra support, a little push from a coworker or a friend. The number of humpback whales in our oceans is dwindling, and they are considered an endangered species. Humpback whales breed while they rest in warm tropical waters from late October to early May. Gestation for the whale is typically 11 to 12 months. They, they birth their calves near the surface in warm, shallow water, then help newborns to the surface within the first seconds from birth. About half an hour after the first push to the surface, they can swim on their own. 11 and 12, which are the houses of Aquarius and Pisces. Um, house number 11 connects to your hopes, your wishes, as well as your friends, community, support. Um, Pisces energy is connected to our dream states, our fantasies, our subconscious energy, which can represent our self undoing as well as our self awakening. So this is kind of like the, um, prophetic Phoenix going through the flames of transformation, right? Um, releasing all the parts of of you that you thought were you and awakening to your truer vibration, this push and surge of energy to the surface. You may like realize something about yourself or um, embrace something that you feared was like an insecurity of some sort that kind of gives you a, a boost in your, your energetic output. We have the Seven of Swords, so there could be some, some lies and deception. This could simply even just be how you may be viewing life at this time. Like, you have to work hard to make ends meet. Um, you're always struggling, but this could be a lie that is, like, caught in your narrative. That needs to be released to have a different perspective on life and the joys that come with it. Seven of Swords can represent betrayal, escape, decep deception, and irresponsibility. So definitely um, things to be cautious of. So now we will get into your meditation. All right, Taurus. Welcome to the meditation portion of the reading with the Obadiah. Place a hand at your heart and connect consciously to your breath as it flows in and out. Feel that you are grounded, present, and ready to speak from your heart. I call upon the white light of spiritual grace, divine love, 
and soul healing. Please help me tune in to clear guidance in all areas of concern in my life. I choose to trust in the unfolding of a higher loving plan in my life. The divine timing of that plan and my own capacity to respond and act with wisdom. I recognized that I am blessed, empowered and protected as I fulfill my side of my divine soul contract with the universe. I have the courage to continue. I have the wisdom to embrace the inner light of my heart, helping, healing, and guiding me with grace. I have every right to be confident in myself and trusting of spirit. Place your hands in prayer and let your mind and heart relax. You may sense the loving light of spirit is around you and within you. Especially notice the top of your head relaxing in the presence of spirit. Grounding yourself again in the present moment, take a deep breath in and out. You have completed your healing process. So there you go, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Mars signs. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Many blessings. Live, love, and light. Take care.